hashtag you're it I am doing a um, the child in you 10 question tag and I think it was originated by um, hot hot B fafs 101 um, but I was tagged by a youtuber refuses to give up so here is my 10 question tag and I welcome you to please respond to the tag thank you very much um, okay real quick uh, question one as a kid what was your dream job um, I think at first early on I wanted to be a psychiatrist because I saw this magazine at the library one time and begged my mom to get it for me and it was psychology today and I really enjoyed it I liked it and I think maybe I was about 10 and I used to read it all the time and I wanted to be a psychiatrist and then um, the my love for writing developed really early so um, I um, then wanted to become a writer which I did um, how old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real and how did you find out my Santa's was always real because the only person I knew as Santa was my mom and dad so <laughs> I didn't know about I I knew the the man with the white beard and the sleigh and all that I knew that he was just on TV or something uh, what was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid um, I didn't really do costumes because you know um, we used to celebrate the fall holiday like at church or something and we get all kinds of different nuts and uh, little bags of candy and uh, fruit and stuff like that so we didn't really do a lot of dressing up we just kind of painted our face and put a sheet on or something like that uh, what were your favorite cartoon shows as a kid I loved um, I loved um, the Looney Tunes you know with the Bugs Bunny and the Sylvester and all them and I love Tweety Bird and all those uh, was there a band slash musician you were completely obsessed with growing up yes yes and yes mine was Michael Jackson Michael Jackson was all over my walls he was all over my ceiling and then once I got old enough I said I'm gonna marry Michael Jackson so I'm going out to California to get my husband so that we can get married and when I was uh, I think I was 19 or maybe I just turned 20 I moved to California searching for Michael Jackson and did I meet him yes yes and yes I uh, had the pleasure of knowing him over a short two to three year period and um, he was uh, just as sweet a person as I thought he was when before I even met him um, and I had the pleasure um, I'm probably one of very few people that can say I have met on more than one occasion Michael Jackson I've been to two of his homes and uh, not many people can say that uh, number six do you still watch any cartoons if so which ones I do still watch cartoons sometimes because I find myself sometimes just needing to go back to childlike things and kiddish things where you know the worries of the world is not on my shoulders um, and um, I often will look at Spongebob, Squarepants and Looney Tunes but sometimes I catch the ones that are really old and has the unfamiliar voices or sometimes I'll catch the newer ones that don't have the um, second round of voices for the characters and I can tell it's a difference and I don't really like those as much but I like Spongebob and I still like Looney Tunes and um, my daughter looks at uh, what is that 
Sim the Simpsons every once in a while, and sometimes I'll sit and look at stuff like that, just for a few laughs. Number seven, what's one habit from your childhood that that stuck with you till this day? Hmm. I would say probably that I stand on the side of my feet, and that is most comfortable. Most people think it looks painful. Most people think that, you know, it's not ladylike, but I don't do it out in public, but when I'm at home, my daughter just goes, ah, don't do that, that looks like your foot is going to break. But if these are your feet, like this, I stand, when I'm really feeling, you know, comfortable, getting comfortable, I'll kind of curl my toes up, and I'll stand on the sides of my foot, they'll turn in, like this. And I'm actually just standing on the the sides of them like this, and the way the bone looks, <laughs> she said it makes makes her feel like it's painful, but it's very comfortable uh, for me. Um, number eight, let's be real. Do you have jam sessions in your car and go wild dancing? Shall I have jam sessions whenever I hear a good beat? I'm off and running. The only thing that I do now that I I can't do now that I used to do is really move like I like I used to. When I was young, I used to dance a lot. I danced on a local um, dance show, and um, I really enjoy dancing a lot. But I can still move, but I have to kind of stand in place, not move my knees and not move my feet because they won't really. They won't hold me because they're so weak now and painful. But I can stand in place and still move. Um, okay. You're at a hotel. Do you steal the shampoos and conditioners from your room? Um, I take them. But I don't know why I take them because I can't really use them on, on my hair. <clears throat> because those shampoos and things that they put in the hotels are really not designed for <clears throat> excuse me, black hair. <clears throat> because when we wash our hair, we're not trying to strip the oils out. We're trying to restore oils and remove the dirt. So most of the shampoos in those hotels will strip black hair. So I really can't use them. I have used them a few times when I've, you know, forgotten, you know, some of my, um, uh, maybe I've run out and don't have any and need a quick wash or something but rarely 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 ever I'll just kind of leave them in a basket somewhere and uh, that's it number 10 last and final looking back at things now what advice would you give your younger self um, to, to really take care of yourself early because the seeds you sow will one day harvest and that goes with any part of your life whether it's health whether it's financial whether it's um, mental emotional I would say have fun but be wise and that would be my advice to myself so I will copy and paste these down in the bottom over here and please tag and um, let's have some fun with it I look forward to getting to know about your um, the child in you 10 question tag okay bye bye for now